آز بلند میشاید و نوچین بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم و سلام الله علیه و سلام الله علیه و سلام آز بیاید از کالج رو بی آم نام از وایزه دن دستن. We are destined to be rich. We can be poor. If we are destined to be poor, we can be rich. If you are destined to be unfortunate, you can be fortunate. And if you are destined to be fortunate, you can be unfortunate. We've gotten a series of examples in the Old Quran, like Prophet Muhammad Sallam and also Prophet Lut Sallam. They had bad wives. That's destiny. That has been predestined on them. The destiny eventually came to pass. But there is something that can change destiny, even if you have bad destinies. God Almighty Allah can still change it to good destiny. That's with prayers. Only prayers can change your destiny, your bad destiny. That's why you say, Allah Almighty Allah can still change it to good destiny. That's with prayers. Only prayers can change your destiny, your bad destiny. That's why you say, Allah Almighty Allah can still change it to good destiny. That's with prayers. That's why you say, Allah Almighty Allah Please change that my unfortunate to fortunate. Let me be fortunate. Wine katatani fakiran kolabani genial. If you created me to be poor, change my bad destiny. Let me be rich. Change me to a rich person. Be romantic directors in the name of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So in short, sayings all to be short and concise. Wa bidua is sorry for kadar so khairan. It's only with prayer that bad destinies can change to good destiny. وابل البارز إن دار التصوف الدعاء أو الاسم لا العظم هو القلم الذي بي يكتب العبد وبالدعاء يكتب العبد رباني سوء القدر إلى خير القدر. It's only with prayer that Allah Abd Rabbani, the servant of God Almighty Allah, the worthy servant, the name of the Abd. The good servant writes or changes his bad destinies to good destiny. So, finally, Barat Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. What the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us about Ismail al Azam is that is that du'a ya bi ajab wa is that su'il bi ato. If you are to pray with it, God will give you what you want. And if you are to ask with it, you will be given whatever you ask from God Almighty Allah. That's the Prophet saying, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In short, Wabil Ismail Azam, Yedi'a ala Abdul Rabbani Rabbahu wa khalikuhu antifal shayyan law. It's with this Ismail Azam that a worthy servant prays to his Lord with to give him what he wants or for him to change his bad destinies to good destinies. That's your column, that's your pen that you write with it, that's your golden pen that you write with it whatever you want. Whatever you want, you write with it. Whatever you need, you ask with it. That's like your pass, that's like your access. To God Almighty Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So for God Almighty Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala to say in Surah to Gafir Ayah 16 that it is only a stage of lack. Call me, and I will answer you. So there is no saying we are balancing this verse of the Old Quran with the Hadith of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying it is only a stage of lack. That is the verse of the Old Quran. And also, the Prophet said, "Sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is that do you be ajab or is that so you be ato? When you call God with this Ismail alazam, He answers you with it. When you ask from Him, He gives you that. Wait, saluni utikum. The two have been balanced like that. Final Allah Taala wa jaib in the Allah wa Allah asrar wa Allah yah Allah. The No God Almighty Allah as jaib." The one who answers is what is servant. Is that that is is that do you be a job when you pray to him when you call him with that he answers. That shows that God Almighty Allah is the job, the one who answers is servant. And also the no God Almighty Allah as alimunti 
un yamuti the one who gives that is why is that when you be at all when you ask from him he gives it's with that is my razon that your column that your pen that you write with it it's just like making a request writing to god almighty allah that's like a result your letter to god almighty allah you write with that your golden pen to ask him what you need he gives you to call him he answers you with it that's why ulama al batin aw aliya allah the new god almighty allah as al muti that is ya muti liman sa'alahu the one who gives who ask him almighty allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's why the aliya allah they say wa bil ismi al azam allazi la yakhibu man da'aka bi you are not stingy with this when the needy calls you with this when your servant calls you with this when he asks you something you give him wa nasi allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we pray to god almighty allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to jib duaan that he should answer all our prayers wa an tutiyana kullu ma sa'alna and he should give us everything we ask from him bi hurmati darajati nabiy muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam with the rank of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam subhana rabbika rabbil izati wa yasifun wassalamun ala al mursalin wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin sallallahu alaihi wasallam